You're watching How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I made a Rocky Road ice cream sandwich. If you love cake and you love ice cream and you love ice cream cake, please share this video. We would really appreciate it. Just click the button below, share it wherever you like. There's a lot of ice cream lovers out there. Don't deprive them. Give them more ice cream. So, I did something special. I baked eight pounds of my Yo's Ultimate Chocolate Cake. I folded in marshmallows, walnuts, and chocolate chips. Yum. I baked the cake in baking trays, like trays that I normally bake cookies on. I have never done that on how to cake it. It's monumental. It is, Orhan, insert monumental music. Some kind of a ice cream scepter. Oh, an ice cream cone maybe. Yes, a golden one. Now, from these two Rocky Road cakes, I wanna get three layers of cake to build up my ice cream sandwich. So, from each cake, I cut one whole strip of the appropriate size and then one half strip. So now I have two full strips and two half strips that will make up a layer. Sir Squeeze was up to the challenge and he helped me simple syrup all of my Rocky Road cake layers. It's not just chocolate cake, right? It has more attitude. It's kind of like me with an ice cream tattoo. I like it. You better like it. Don't you pity the fool who tells me they don't like my tattoo. <laughs> Do I sound anything like Mr. T? I pity the fool who does, oh, wait. <laughs> I pity the fool who tells me they don't like my tattoo. That's pretty good. Isn't that? Yeah. These temporary tattoos are actually a set of four and they come in our summertime bundle, which is available at howtokeekit.com. Now that the simple syrup has soaked in, I want to stack and fill these cakes with my Italian meringue buttercream. Like ice cream in an ice cream sandwich, it's vanilla. I stacked a full layer on the bottom, buttercream, then I used my two half layers to make one full layer. buttercream, and then the final full layer. Time to crumb coat this giant cake and get it in the fridge to chill. I always point over there because that's where the fridge is. <laughs> yeah, we just don't put her in the interview. She's a little, you know, she's very stainless steely. <laughs> now I need to make the giant rectangular cookies that will sandwich this delicious cake and some buttercream later on. For this, I'm making some chocolate sugar cookies. It's simply made by creaming together butter, sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, are you with me? Salt, you know, that pinch. Then when that's nice and light and fluffy, I add in some eggs. And finally, I add my dark cocoa, flour, and cornstarch to the mix. You wanna mix the dough till it's fully incorporated, but often some dry ingredients get caught at the bottom of your bowl. So turn it out, knead it on the table till it's fully incorporated, and then chill your dough for about 30 minutes. Wrap it up tight in plastic. Once my dough is chilled, I'm gonna roll it out onto some silicone baking mats. Roll it out into a big rectangle, cuts all four sides straight, and then I sort of rounded the corners, just a touch, like an ice cream sandwich. Finally, I need to use a piping tip to cut all the perforated holes that are in the cookie of an ice cream sandwich. So I did this the same way I did it to my giant graham cracker cookie in my s'more cake. If you haven't seen that, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> Do you see what I did? I just mixed Mr. T and ice cube. Because I'm cold. After I've cut out two cookies that are the exact same size with the rounded corners and all the perforated holes, I'm going to chill my cookie dough. Because if it's warm, then it goes into a really hot oven, then it just has time to spread. So you want it to be nice and chilled and then place it in the hot oven. A pity the fool who doesn't chill their cookies before baking them. Because then they'll spread. That wasn't, that wasn't, it's, I, I lost my Mr. T. <laughs> I've baked my cookies. I'm taking them out of the oven to cool completely. We are gonna put this ice cream sandwich together. My cookies are completely cooled and I need to begin by taking one of them off the pan and flipping it upside down. That wasn't scary. Time to 
time to take out my cake, which is the inside of this ice cream sandwich. This wasn't scary either. I had to lift up the cake and place it on top of the upside down cookie, centering it. It went well. I was afraid that the cookie would break. It went well, didn't break. Finally, I need to spread a little bit of buttercream on top of my cake so that the top cookie will stick. And then I carefully remove that cookie and place it on top of the cake right side up this time. It's time to recreate the ice cream part of this ice cream sandwich. And speaking of ice cream, if you love ice cream cakes, we have a whole playlist right here. Is Popsicle in this playlist? He is a frozen dessert. Yes. I think he's got to be in, right? We would let frozen yogurt into this yes. list. We would let sorbet into this list. Well, not me personally, but. <laughs> you don't do sorbet? I don't have time for this. <laughs> light dessert. If I wanted a light dessert, I'd have some strawberries. That's where I stand. <laughs> Now that the cake is assembled, there should be sort of a border around the cake of buttercreamless cookie. I filled a piping bag with a big round tip and piped the buttercream in onto the sides of the cake. Then I used my spatula to spread it all around and a bench scraper to get it flush with the sides of the ice cream sandwich. You're doing like a whole dance in this episode. What? <laughs> this is very 80s, which goes with my Mr. T theme. It was really amazing, but I'm taking this a step further. You know how Mr. T wears like a ton of chains? Yes. I need to put some chains on this ice cream sandwich. And by chains, I mean like chocolate, walnuts, marshmallows, and chocolate chips, and sprinkles. I need to chill this cake so that the buttercream is nice and firm before I add my toppings. The first thing I did was melt some compound chocolate so that I could pipe it onto the surface of my ice cream sandwich cake and let it drip down the sides. I wanted to create a really clean diagonal line, so I actually laid a piece of cardstock paper, which is just like sturdy paper, on top so that I wouldn't get like a wavy line. I wanted a nice line so it looked like it had been dipped. I really want a dipped ice cream sandwich yeah. right now. Lunch, that's what we're gonna have for lunch. Good. You know, I could pour chocolate on the cake I'm making next week. It's another fruit that people often dip in chocolate. It's a bit of a seedy cake like Walter. It is actually. It is. Great. So to create my, uh, what do I call it, band? Yeah, but it's not all over. Like there's oh, a, remember the picture? Yeah, there's a band of it. So, okay, so, so what you're saying is with your toppings, you organize them in strips. Yes, I did organize <laughs> a line of toppings. To be fair, it was randomly placed toppings in a line. <laughs> Give me some marshmallows. I'm talking about chocolate chips and walnuts. Don't forget my sprinkles. I pity the fool who doesn't give me sprinkles. Mr. T's back. Yes. <laughs> These are the same sprinkles I'm using on Camp Cake. Right now I'm here with you, but I am also live on Facebook at Camp Cake. If you miss Camp Cake this summer, don't worry. We'll be doing another one soon. I have to tell you something, Jocelyn, the yes. people, everyone. I'm gonna tell you something that has made me very upset. Oh no. Everyone likes to ask what I do with the cakes, and often I give them away. And up until now, Jeremy has been very accepting, but he now <laughs> placed a cake ban on me. <laughs> Jocelyn, cake ban. So okay, the week before, I had three cakes in my fridge. What is the point was, of this story? <laughs> my Hold on, was do you have cake. a tissue? No. Three cakes? Hold on. <sighs> That's just so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> if you love ice cream cakes, I have a playlist right here. And if you love giant food cakes, I have another playlist right here. And you can subscribe right here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video with an ice cream lover. I pity the fool who doesn't share this video. <laughs> oh, he's back. I pity the fool.